Today we performed in the Performing Arts Series and our director, Senon Barron, had the opportunity to teach in um, the AIS program that I direct, uh, first through third graders at Hamilton School. So all of those students were here today and they had the opportunity to see their teacher on stage and um, talk with him after and ask questions about the performance. I think a lot of live arts are dying forms. A lot of our dances are no longer done to live music, so having that live interaction of people engaging in the art form, whether it's as an audience or participating in music, dance, visual arts, it's really important because it keeps that part of our culture alive. 2007, Angus Crocker, in recognition of his invaluable contributions to the prostate cancer community, the Marin Prostate Cancer Support Group. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank all of you. I do bring my faith to that, to that group and my, a sense of a positive way of looking at life, a way of seeing maybe beyond, seeing that cancer can be for us an opportunity as well as a challenge. It can be for us an opportunity to take another look at our lives, to really look at uh, what is important that every day we have is a gift. And I think that's one of the things that cancer does. My sister and I have always been quite close and as soon as she was really diagnosed and we knew what her treatment was going to be, the first thing that popped into my head is that I had to do everything I could to help her. She was going to come and spend um, the days right after her chemo every two weeks at my house and I'd take care of her. She would take off from work uh, most of the time. Sometimes my husband would take off a day and, and stay with me, but usually it was Dahlia. Um, if I had an appointment, she would drive me to the appointment. Uh, if I wanted to go to my support group meeting, she would drive me and take me along to the support group meeting and sometimes stay with me there. And I set up a little room for her with special things and I'd um, have ready for her every time she came back from chemo. I made little chemo trading cards for her to collect and uh, something to look forward to when she got home that there'd be something new and special waiting for her because we are very close and um, you know and we are family and so there's always the fears of uh, you know losing you know, your only sibling, the fear of is it in the family, um, you know, what's going to happen. I think we all just try to focus on the positive and kind of take the positive attitude and not focus on the negatives. As a non-medically trained person, really all, you know, you can do is give all the support you can physically and emotionally. Well, it's a wonderful thing, of course, to, to have someone who devotes themselves to to your care and to making sure that you're comfortable and that you're getting better. I couldn't ask for, for a better sister.